I'm Katie Legrone in Hernando Beach, where water has significantly receded from earlier this morning. But over the course of the day, the biggest issue for this community on the Gulf, more water. Hernando Beach underwater. Hours after Hurricane Adalia skirted its way west of Florida's Gulf Coast. The water's easily fit to be four foot deep. Okay. Its impacts on this quiet waterfront community in Hernando County was literally knee deep. By morning, some four feet of water covered streets, parking lots, a fire hydrant, some parts impassable. They're stuck down here. Even for high water National Guard trucks like this. One of them hit a ditch and got stuck, forcing this crew to stop and retreat. In other cases, a home burned the water so high, fire rescue crews were left with little options. We actually got down this road and then retreated. It's just getting too deep. Uh, this water on this street is at least three feet on the road. Captain Sean Moulton with Hernando County Fire Rescue has 21 years of experience on the job here. Adalia hit a nerve. I don't know if this is the worst it's ever been, but since that I've had my eyes on, yes, this is the worst that I've seen it. Because of the water, power was deliberately turned off for safety. Rescue efforts turned on, but few in Hernando Beach took advantage. Those who chose not to evacuate before the storm had no interest in leaving after. Why not? It's our home. We got a little water. Uh, we're still above it, so it's all good. As storm surge remained this community's biggest threat. We're told a few people asked to be rescued earlier this morning. Fortunately, there are no major injuries to report. As for lasting impacts, it will certainly be water damage to home and property here. On Hernando Beach, Katie Legrone, back to you.